Oxen's role in plants. 1. Oxen stimulates the elongation of sections excised from roots, or even intact roots, of many species. Thus internal oxen from the stem tip was sufficient to cause root elongation. 2. Oxens also stimulate adventitious root development on stems e.g. apples, willows, etc. 3. Propagation by cut leaves is also often stimulated by oxens. However, the internal hormone balance must be sufficient to initiate adventitious buds. 4. Even when cut shoots are inverted in humid conditions, roots will form near the top, away from original stem tips, and where the polar movement of the roots is likely to result in the formation of adventitious roots. 5. Roots form near the bases of the stems, as prop roots emerge from the nodes of the match stalks. 6. Accidental roots are not only at the base of the stem, but can also form on the lower surface of the stem placed on a moist surface. 7. In stems, the apical bud exerts an inhibitory influence, apical dominance, upon the lateral, axillary, buds, preventing or slowing their development. Apical dominance is widespread in roots. 8. Another dominant effect of the shoot apex is to cause branches below to grow somewhat horizontally. The horizontal growth often prevents shading of the lower branch and increases the photosynthetic productivity of the plant. 9. Oxen levels in the leaf increase with maturity while its levels are found to be reduced in the abscission layer and scenes of leaf, fruit and petioles. Oxen Oxen was coined by Fritis went to compounds that caused a curvature in the oat coleoptile abundant in the coleoptile tip. Other forms of oxen in plants are 4 chloro indoleacetic acid, lithylacetic acid, or PA, indole acetonitrile, indole ethanol, indole acetaldehyde, and indole acetonitrile. Some artificially synthesized oxens are naphthalene acetic acid, Na, indole butyric acid, IBA, 2, 4 dichlorophenoctanoic acid, 2, 4 chlorophenoxy acetic acid. Synthesis of auxin. The preferred pathway involves donating the amino group to a different acetoacid via a transamination reaction, resulting in the formation of indole pyruvic acid. Indolepyruvate is decarboxylated to form indole acetaldehyde, oxidized to auxin. Inactivation. Plants have mechanisms to regulate the amount of hormones. One mechanism is the rate of synthesis and another is the control by temporary inactivation. The carboxyl groups of auxin combine covalently to form conjugated auxin which is released from these conjugated forms by hydrolase enzymes. Another process for the removal of IA is degradative, involving oxidation and loss of the carbonyl group. Transport. Port. Oxen is not typically translocated through the phloem or xylem, including the parenchyma of the phloem and the placental cells surrounding the vascular bundles. Its transport is polar, occurring in stems in the bicipital petal direction, regardless of whether the base of the stem is normally down, even if the apex is upside down. Its transport requires energy in the form of ATP as many artificial auxin inhibitors block its transport if applied called antioxins for example NPA and TBA. An alternative hypothesis with the same overall result is that the negatively charged auxin is moved into the plasma evidence has been obtained for the polarization of an auxin transporter at the basal end in P stem cells. Mechanism of Action Two theories that guide the mode of action are as Receptor concept The assumption is that there is usually only one kind of protein, a receptor protein that first binds to hormones in any cell. Such receptors can explain specificity enzyme, sub enzyme substrate complexes. This explains how a cell having the receptor would respond. Some cells with little response would do so depending on the number of receptors. It is possible to detect receptor proteins. The most interesting are the ones that bind only to auxins. Acid growth hypothesis 
This hypothesis states that toxins cause receptive cells to secrete H ions into their surrounding primary walls and that these H ions then lower the wall pH so that wall loosening and increase in plasticity and growth occur. Presumably, loosening takes place because the low pH activates enzymes that break bonds between growth-restrictive polysaccharides within the walls. Regardless of the loosening mechanism, Cells would then grow faster under their existing turgor pressure. Evidence supports the acid growth theory.